what's up guys welcome back to my channel for our new subscribers you're welcome for the old ones you're all welcome i mean i love you all so today we are going to be learning how to sew a shift dress how to populate a shift dress or whatever but it's basically how to sew i have a video on how to cut this dress i have another video on how to place a, a pocket on this dress and attach the pocket or sew the pocket on the dress so today i'm going to be doing the sewing of the dress or the joining or the coupling of the dress whatever you're more familiar with so in this video i went ahead to to cut lining pieces for this dress actually so i did that off camera but it's simply just cutting the exact same thing as the dress so you're just placing the dress on the lining piece to like replicate whatever you have there so on the front piece of the lining i just added this piece of fabric there because i might be adding eyelets to that place so i just needed something to make it stable and if you do that on your own even if you're not adding eyelets it will be fine so that if because the dress has an opening on the chest whenever maybe breeze or something opens up this side it shouldn't reveal the lining piece it should reveal also the fabric so that's why i have this on on the front side at the neck side of your fabric it's also nice if you can do it at the back side of your fabric too it also gives it this niceness when it's ironed down and also i mean there's no harm so let's get into coupling our dress proper so i'm just going to pick the front side of, I'm just going to pick dress the front side of the dress and the front lining piece so here we go this is the front side of the dress for those who have not seen the pocket you can see this is our pocket that we did so I'll be linking the video how I achieved this in the description box below so do well to go and watch so that is the right side of the fabric where i have the pocket so i'm just going to turn it over to the right side like this then i'll pick the right side of the lining as well and the right side of the lining is definitely where we have this so i'm just going to place right side right side over right side so i cut the lining piece a little bit shorter than the dress just so that when i turn it over the the fabric will fold in a little like this so that was what i did so i'm just going to pick the downside of the dress is what i'm starting with so i'm just going to sew the hem length join it together with the, the lining piece i'm just going to be sewing straight Using about two centimeters sewing allowance, two or three centimeters sewing allowance. That's what I'm using. Then I'll just grab the dress. Then on the armhole line, I'll just join it from the armhole line. No, sorry guys. I'll just do the neck first. So I have this opening on the neck side. So I'll just align the neck first off and do the neck. I'll start from here as the shoulder line. Just start from there, go round like a merry go round. <laughs> so I'll just turn over the neck. Now I'm not saying this is the only way you can do this. You can actually sew the dress complete and sew the lining piece, then join everything together. And I kind of like doing this so that if there's any need to shape the dress when the client has it on, you don't have to like lose everything. So that's why I'm using this method. After doing the neckline, I'm going to be doing that opening here. I 
remember I didn't open the lining piece, it's just the fabric, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut open the lining piece, then I'll just slip through the sewing allowance on this neck piece like so. So here we go. Then from the armhole line, I'm just going to be joining the this I'm just going to use this opening here on the armhole there's an opening there so I'm just going to use it to turn over the dress then I'll put my scissors make sure your scissors is closed you can use a nail or any a screwdriver anything just to bring out the edge these corners here the inner corners just to bring them out to the nice and clean then i'll go ahead and give it a good press then i'll do the exact same thing on the back that's attaching the lining piece on each of the back pieces the same way i did this i'll do the hem i'll do the neck then i'll close the both sides then when i do that i'll come over iron them and bring them over to show you how i'm going to be joining them together so guys i have the front and the back properly pressed you can see the pocket has been ironed see how lovely i mean i'm so in love with this pocket so i'm going to be joining the front and the back so this is one part of the back i'll be let me join i'll join the shoulder first so i'm just going to place the shoulder on shoulder like this the both the right side of the shoulder on each other you can see it matches nicely so i'll just grab that then this is what i'm going to be doing this is also a trick for joining the shoulder so you just Cut out any excess thread on your clothes. They are no, you are usually not flattery when they just stand like that on your garments. So you can see this is neatly done. This is the inner part of the dress. This is the outer part. So now I'm going to just grab my dress and then sew the side seams together each side together i'm using half an inch sewing allowance to just sew this because if you remember i left one inch sewing allowance when i was cutting but i used part of the sewing allowance to and to just sandwich the rough edges together with the lining that i joined the lining piece together with the fabric piece using from it so i don't have up to one inch again so i'm going to be using half an inch sewing allowance and remember it's a free dress so the right side of the shoulder 
uh, on both on each other the right side facing right side so this is what i'm going to do i'll just grab one of the wrong side that's the one at the back the wrong side there which is the lining piece there and just flip it over to the front like this i'll just flip that over to the front or another way is to open them together then you make sure the midpoint here aligns just ensure that this midpoint here aligns properly then you sew you sew them like this up to here but i prefer turning it over like this so i'm just going to here you go i have it like this then i'm flipping including my seam allowances i'm going to flip over to the front side so the the lining piece that was at the back here i'll flip it over just so when i sew it everything will be nice and and sandwiched inside the so just go ahead and use two cm sewing allowance that's two centimeters sewing allowance there you go so you take out the piece now when you open it you drag the both of them together look at what happened there so the inside part of it is clean the outer side is clean so that was what i did so i'm going to do that one more time on the other shoulder so that you will see in case you didn't get it the first time so here we go shoulder to shoulder the right sides are facing each other you grab that then you just ensure that everything aligns right side to right side if it doesn't align on your own you can iron it and trim it off so this the the lining piece here the one at the back i'll just flip it holding all all as you can see i'm holding the the entire thing in my hands like this so i'm going to be holding this properly then i'll come this to this point hold this down properly that's the three fabrics together now is three because i took this out it's supposed to be four then i'm going to flip it over including the seam allowance on this side i'll flip it to come over to the front side then i'll turn it and sew you see i have it here i'll flip it over to the front side like this so i'm going to be sewing here like that holding everything carefully on two centimeter sewing allowance because that's the sewing allowance i left there so when you just stitch down a little you ensure that all four of them are put together then you sew sorry my thread just cut off so so on the back side i'm just going to close this seam nicely if you like you can add a zipper to that point but i'm not adding a zipper so i'm just going to close the back nice so as i'm sewing the back piece like so when i get to the affluent point i'm using half an inch so when i get to the affluent point i'm going to go in take the affluent point to be more than the usual seam allowance because i just want it to have a little bit of um, shape there so which means that bolt at the back i'm just going to use that to eliminate any bolt at the back of the dress so that's just what i did i took about an inch on the affluent point the affluent area the back affluent area if you don't know what affluent is you can go and watch my video on how to take body measurements basically what happens you get to know what happens is there
so guys this is our dress i'm just going to go ahead and press it down then i'll come and fix the sleeve for you to see